a wholesaler to get production rights. But we do get uh, missions. So we can accept this for how much ever goes. We can accept this. A number of deliveries, blah, 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 blah. Needs to be here. That's in Stockholm right now. What I will do, however, is probably as soon as it sells it, there we go. We can buy a new ship. Well, make a new ship. So a coal we don't want to go for because it's just too much. We're going to go with a Kraya because it has good speed, good car cargo capacity. And it's overall, it's a good ship. So, yeah, we're going to assign him to build that for us. And then, of course, we did just go down a lot in money. But um, as soon as he sells that stuff, then we'll be all good. Because we go on negative, negative, but in now. There we go, 21k. Wonderful. <clears throat> it's also good having two ships because you can put them in the same convoy. But mainly what I seem to do is I have one ship to do missions and one ship to just trade in the background. It's what I seem to... It seems to work. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. There was, there was a guy that I was willing to do that. So, our order list. So, this guy, this guy's ship will come before us because he was there first. He's building a cog for him. And that's Wendell Beringa. This is us. We can withdraw from it and get our money back. I think you get your money back from it. I don't think I want to try. <laughs> but now, of course, we have to... The more money you get, the more you have to donate. So, if you have, a, like, I think it's 100 grand, which I have had. I think I've... The highest I've gotten up to is a million. And have gotten quite far up in the ranking system. But that takes a while, I must say. See, now these guys need a lot more stuff. They need wood, hemp, tools, that stuff. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, pitch. They can get this easy, get that easy. They can't get this easy. Everywhere needs wood. Like, even the places that's, that um, produces wood, it still needs it. So, I'll, pi I'll probably buy a house, like, you just to show you guys what it's like. You can only build within inside the city, of course, with these houses. You can't build out here. You can buy production buildings and put them out there. I normally like to put mine just there. You to either tear this house down immediately or cut me in on the profits. Remember, I was here first. <clears throat> so, of course, that's the guy and he's pissed off because I think he's mayor. Yeah, one little baringa. He's got 100, um, 100 people like, well, 100% of... Reputation. We can't run for election to each gain the rank of chairman, which is later, later on. So we will do that eventually, but not yet. And of course, if you guys like this enough, then that road just disappeared, actually, which is very peculiar. That's never happened before. And of course, this place needs wood. So as soon as this place gets wood, the city gets wood, then we will. It will begin to build. Then I can show you that. For now, I can show you, in fact, this one. This has 50 out of 100 poor burgers living here. Now, these these guys will pay their the mayor who or whoever owns it a specific amount of money. You can buy it, of course, and all of that. But, um, yeah, they cost generally quite a lot to buy. But you do get the burgers that come along with it. Okay, this... Okay, ours one is coming 11th of September. So... I should be soon. Oh, I don't know where our ship is actually. Okay, it's coming back to Lubeck right now. To come back here. I don't know if it's, it is still managing to sell everything, so it must be just the right amount of days. <clears throat> of course, when this guy is built, we can start doing all these. There's huge ones. I've seen it where they require 2,000 wood. And then, of course, that gets more difficult. That's like four cogs <laughs> without any upgrades. So our house has actually been built at the moment. So if we speed up time, it'll be done in three days, two days, one day. Come on, one day. Okay. One day. And of course, you do get sieges. So people, random people will siege them. And here we go. This is ours now. Okay. So we have one house. Uh, we have one house. Cost per day is minus 10 gold, or however you want to call it. I call it gold. 
But of course we do make two gold income more. That's if there's people living there. But this house just lost a few of you and I gained a few people. So it does go between the two. But of course if we click on this guy, this guy has like 50 houses. I must make quite a bit of it. And our ship is now made. Awesome, we have our Kraya. So you have to pull it. I don't know why it's build a convoy. It would just make like create a convoy or something like that. But of course we can get this guy. We'll trade it up. Uh, we'll, we'll start collecting the treasure maps and all that. But primarily now we can accept uh, missions. I probably want to sell, it, uh, not sell this down. Um, put this down. So there was one. Let's wait for another one. So these guys need all this wood by the 8th of the 10th. That's a lot of wood. That really is a ton of wood. Now we can only have 300 at a time. So we're going to need to do a crazy amount of trips. So you want to be training and training and training and training a lot. Now the good thing about having another ship is that we can see that this place does require a shit ton of wood. But I don't think wood here is actually brought for that much. It's only brought for 66. So it's not all that much. So these guys also use up five. They use up 154 raw material each day. And yeah. But they do produce a lot of sugar. So if we go out with our little ship here. And find some more places. Which actually do make a lot of stuff. So this place makes a lot of both hemp and building bricks. So that's always good. If we go to somewhere else like up here. This place produces a lot of grain. Now that's a lot of grain. You want to be looking for above, you know, 500 production of a single item before you want to start influencing yourself in that town and I will do that shortly but uh, I don't know if grain actually sells all that well anywhere it sells the 61 here this place produces a crap ton of wood and a crap ton of more of wool but again I'm not quite sure how wool is actually so okay so we could come here and we could say, hey guys, we want to be your friends. So we go into here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck was that? Fair enough. That's actually pretty doody. They got like, they made it quite nicely into a whole bunch of sheep farms and whatnot. Have it nicely. <clears throat> but if we go onto the guild here, membership, we can't get it until we increase to the next rank, but that will be soon. If I actually look at this guy, he's going to Stockholm, so. We should get a new rank. How about now? No? Ah, 4k up, but damn it. That sucks. We do have a lot of money, though. I have a lot of money. Is this guy selling all of it still? Yeah, he's still selling all of it. I don't want to be this guy anymore. What the fuck? Come on. No, no. Let me click that. Ah! Right. So, this one also has a few things it wants us to do honey and wood. Oh, there we go. We are now a wholesaler. So, we can, in fact, go to the guild and apply for membership. But we need 25 people, uh, basically, a reputation of 25 here until we can join in 6,000 or however low it goes. So before we're doing this, we want to go to the church, we want to pray for the business, and we want to pay a crap ton of money for these people that are like us. But the main thing that makes people like you is when you sell them stuff they don't have. So these guys don't have clothing, wine, spice, not a lot of places actually produce spice. It's actually kind of weird, but still. And then of course everything else they require. Or you can accept missions and then they'll like you more by doing that. This one would be uh, 23rd of the 10th. So that one you know, needs to be done in for, uh, t 11 days, which isn't enough time. This one is possible. So we will accept that. 
So we want to go to somewhere that produces a lot of honey. Which I'm not quite sure where, but we'll just have to um, go around everywhere and try and find out who sells honey. So these guys produce 40 honey, so that's good. I can't remember how much we need. I think it was 90. So we need, yeah, 90 honey. We don't. You don't want to buy it all. If you buy it all, then the town dislikes you, and then all sorts of stuff begin to happen. It's just uh. <laughs> so we can. You want to start when it starts to increase dramatically. So you don't want to buy a hundred. You don't want to buy seventy-seven. You want to buy about twenty. That way, they still like us. But we will go down to setting. Next, we got twenty so far. We just need a bit more. Patch of another twenty, still a bit more. And of course, one thing to tell you guys right now is that um, the little ships, apart from the cog, cog can't actually travel down rivers. Only these ones and the other ship can. So that's a thing to keep in mind. Will you sell us a lot? Forty, please don't dislike us. Ah, oh, thank guys. So yeah, these guys can actually go all the way down and actually buy stuff from these rivers, whereas COD can't, so it's quite good. But you don't really want to set up in one of these towns because then it's just a pain in the ass, really. So we got the 90, um, the 90 honey, and we need to deliver it to Malmo. We have plenty of time. We don't really need to rush or anything. So we can sell it here. That'll give us 8k, 8.5k. Boom, and plus they like us more. So of course our reputation with us uh, with us goes well, well with them sorry goes up a bit, and we're almost up to the point where we can um, uh, join. Right, so they need wood and <laughs> and they need <laughs> and they need more honey. I won't accept that. I can accept the tavern quests, which is lending 4k. These guys, this can either go good or bad. Cities will pay you back most likely 100%, but these guys can sometimes let, uh, borrow 4k and then only be able to give you 3k back. So sometimes it's worth it. I'm going to do it just because I had the money, and we'll see how much we get back from our 4k investment on that guy. They want 80 wool. Okay, so they want us to sell the stuff, so if we accept this... And then they want us to I take it. They want us to buy the wool from here. They have a crap ton of wool, so I don't think now mine is buying them. Actually, wow, I can't forget. I have really bad memory. They want us to buy eighty wool and and take it to Revalve. Stop going in there. Ah, no, oh, uh, that one. <laughs> uh, so we want to buy ninety wool. Ah, oh, 80. Okay. It's 80. See, I told you my memory was bad. <laughs> and we need to get up there pretty quickly because... Oh, fuck me. Okay, you want to watch out for those because those will seriously damage your ship. So you want to stay inside the town when they're coming over. And then they want to stay here. We do gain, actually, quite a bit of profit. We want that to go away first. As you saw, that ship just got engulfed by it. So... So you do actually make money from all these missions and you do gain popularity with the town. So at the moment they like us by 16, which isn't much. They mostly like you for bringing stuff to them. You don't don't want to have it on times 5 when inside the town because then these missions go away pretty damn quickly. You can times 10 with inside them. So They want 30 pelts. By the 26th, that's possible. I'm not sure who actually sells it, who produces them. Uh, they do. Does anyone close to sell pelts or produce pelts? They don't. They do not. They are in the siege, so we don't really want to go there because that product is. They'll be quite bad over there. I do sell pelts, don't they? No. Okay, we're going to go over here. So we want to send our guy over here. To get 30 pelts, there we go. 
and we should make a bit of money from this. It says it will give us uh, a specific amount of money, which was about, um, what was it, 1300 was it? I think it was. Yeah, 